Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different's World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like me and if not, manifest, plan and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all is surely coming to you guys for sure. And if this is your first, second or third time to my YouTube channel, welcome, happy to have you guys. Before you leave, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Different's World and you come and learn what's going on with your girl. And speaking of coming and learning, you guys, I'm an author, motivational speaker and CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, entertain you guys all at once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so again, first, second, or third time, it don't matter. Just hit that subscribe button for your girl. Yeah. So you guys, today is going to be a, 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 um, a mesh of two of my content days. I usually do Sunday inspiration, then Monday's motivation. But for Mondays, uh, I, I kind of missed it yesterday. I posted a travel vlog. I'm a little bit behind. <laughs> but in any case, uh, today is going to be a mixture of both. And I want to title this uh, Taming Your Tongue or, or, or Guarding Your Tongue, if you will. And this ties into, you know, both the spiritual side as well as the motivational side when it comes to going after your dreams and goals, you know, a lot of the times, uh, uh, and I actually also talked about this in my motivation of uh, reprogramming in my mind, and so if you guys haven't gotten a chance to check that one out, after this one, <laughs> go ahead and check out that one, but in any case, I talked about the power of the tongue and uh, how you speak things into existence through your mouth, and so when we're going after our dreams and goals, you guys, we have to be real careful on what we speak into existence about ourselves, about others, and especially when it comes to, you know, people, you know, doubting you and downing you, that is when it's time for you to, you know, speak words of beauty and powers of manifestation into your life and so um and i want to be the first you know i want to jump it off by sharing my testimony when it came to the power of the tongue and how i realized the you know power of manifestation was real and that i had the power to manifest you know my my biggest dream after i manifested my worst nightmare out of thin air you know it just came to me in my sleep all of a sudden i started picking at it and then i started saying it out loud and before i knew it you know i had made my worst nightmares come to manifestation without even really trying and so i learned from that point on if i can manifest my worst nightmares into existence why not manifest my biggest dreams and so i started to reprogram program my mind, my train of thought, my words, and, and my actions when it came to going after minds and as well as reprogramming in my mind. And so that's what I want to motivate you guys on doing today. Uh, for those out there that, that's used to being a negative Nancy or Debbie Downer, or just always, you know, a pessimist, doesn't, you know, have a good outlook on life or doesn't, is hopeful about an outcome. And you have to realize, you know, what you speak out of your mouth, it comes to existence. And a lot of people don't realize that they have the power to change their situations just by their train of thought, just by the words they speak and say into existence. And so uh, when it comes to uh, speaking, you know, words out, out loud, you have to remind yourself to tame your tongue on the negative thoughts. And so, and, and I also want to know that it's okay when it comes to, you know, expressing yourself and, and, and keeping it real within yourself because I'm a realist but as well as when it comes to you know negative thoughts don't let it overpower you and even if you have them it's okay but just don't you know dwell on them don't let them take control over you I often say you have three choices when it comes to you know taming your tongue you can reprogram your mind or one you can reprogram your mind and train yourself to stop speaking so negatively about a situation or speaking negative things out of your mouth change that into a positive way start speaking words of beauty start saying you know hey i'm gonna be okay i'm gonna be all right you know even if you don't feel like speaking positive you can be real about the situation you can say hey it's a shitty day for me things ain't going right but it's gonna be okay i'm gonna get through it why because i'm handed like a boss supposed to so it's okay with being real just don't be negative you know and if you can't be positive if you can't be real then be quiet you know you have to learn how to tame your tongue and i'm still a work in progress on that you guys i'm not perfect you know i still have little slip ups when i'm feeling negative and feeling down and you know let things slip up but then i have to quickly remind myself you know the power of the tongue is real and what you say is in the power of the tongue and so those out there you know that that have a witness it as well as experience it and know what I'm talking about. You guys definitely know where I'm going, uh, understanding me coming from. And be sure to leave me a comment, you know, sharing your thoughts on this topic as well. 
Um, also, you guys, I found this dope video online from John Gray. Um, he's a pastor at Lakewood Church here in Houston. I used to go to Lakewood, but not anymore. But he has good teachings, and, and, and he spoke uh, about this topic a while back. And so often, when it, like I said, when it comes to motivation, you need to hear from more than one person that's walking this journey. And so with that being said, you guys, check out this video that I found from John Gray. And be sure to check him out when we come back after you guys. Check out my uh, YouTube channel and subscribe. But check out his video, and then we'll come back on and talk a little bit more about taming your tongue, the power of the tongue. And then we'll let you guys know a little bit more what's going on in different world. Yeah, here it is he could have because it is such a contrast to the man that I am because there are moments when I get angry and I can't hold my I'm saved I love Jesus Mike and Fiona I do but if you catch me at the wrong time and I haven't got proper rest and I wasn't in my word like I need to and I don't have my Dodie Osteen Holy Ghost on I might say the wrong is there anybody else that'll be honest to say, if I catch you at the wrong time, you will say the wrong thing. Silence. Who knew that silence could be a sermon? That's the one you tweet. You got to write that down. Your silence is your sermon. Some of us have been preaching with a bunch of words, but your life don't line up. You messing up your sermon. The best thing to do is just keep living it and stay quiet and your silence is your sermon because your fruit will produce on its own. But it's this tongue, it's this tongue. This tongue. Even the book of James chapter three, verse seven. James, the brother of Jesus, James, who had revelation, James, who was a martyr for the gospel, head chopped off for the gospel. The seventh verse, he said, for every kind of beast and bird of reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no man can tame the, it is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. Is there anybody that can say you've been hurt? I, who came up with this thing? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never hurt me. That's a lie. That's not true at all. How many of us have been hurt by words? Here's what's worse. How many of us have been hurt by words from somebody that was in church? Isn't it funny? that there are people who are so broken that they will weaponize scripture, point it in the direction of the broken and fire without regard to what can happen. How many people have been limping towards the cross only to be hit by words like you're unworthy. God could never forgive that. You know you a mess. That's a different kind of sin than my own sin. So you're not welcome here. Look at you. Ugh, you're, how many of us have heard from family members when we were growing up that we weren't handsome or we weren't pretty? How many times were we going to school on the bus and heard the words of bullies tell us we were ugly, our lips were too big, our hair was too short, we were too fat, we were too skinny, we didn't have the right clothes? How many of us can still remember the sting of that moment and smiling it off in front of people but going to the back? bathroom and wiping tears away. Is there anybody here who's ever been wounded by words? I can tell that I'm still dealing with the words of people. And this is the thing, you, you, you've got to get free from people. You've got to get free from people. I have a very small group of people that can affect my emotions. You cannot give everybody access to your emotions. I'm sorry. You cannot. I feel a praise break right there. And especially for my single folk. You cannot let people get a hold to your emotions. Ladies, 
See, here's the thing about single women, especially now, because it seems like it's three saved men who are single, who love God and have all they teeth. But you have to trust God for one of them three. Because how many women in here have been heartbroken because you took a man at his word and he didn't keep it? Now, see, there's about to start having that in. Say that. That's the truth. How many women who were hurt by one man then were now closed off when someone else came along? You've already sized him up. And I'm just waiting. Waiting for what? We're, we're just having dinner. I'm just waiting. We're going to be just like the rest. He's just trying to eat his grilled chicken. And you're already mad at him for something someone else did that had nothing to do with him. And then you wonder why he won't call back. Some of y'all mad at me. I'm leaving. I didn't like this son. This is crazy. I didn't, I didn't come here for this. I didn't come here for this. How many of us have held other people hostage because someone else hurt us? Six of us? How many people have held other people hostage because someone else hurt us? Why? Because words matter. Words matter. But Jesus teaches us as he was being tried unjustly that he kept silent and his silence became his sermon. And what I want you to take away from what I'm sharing tonight is that there are moments that responding verbally is not always God's will. There are some people in your life that were, they were sent by God to train your tongue. I feel something in here. They were sent by God to train your tongue. And the reason why you get angry and you spout off at them, and for whatever reason, this particular individual, nobody can get up under your skin like this, this, this one person just, oh, Jesus, just take them to glory early, Jesus. Just take them. God's like, no, because I'm trying to mature you. And the way I mature you is by causing you to remain uncomfortable until you learn the lesson. Somebody else caught it. Do you know that there are people in your life designed, they are sent by heaven to get on your nerves until you produce the character of the word you say you follow. Your lesson, should you choose to accept it, over the next seven days is to identify the people that get in this area here and not respond from your historical frame of reference. All right, you guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoy watching in on uh, that inspirational or spiritual inspirational video from John Gray. Uh, be sure to check him out on his YouTube channel and uh, as well as uh, definitely you guys do uh, awesome, some other research that I found. Uh, some great tips out there when it comes to, you know, taming your tongue. And so be sure to do you guys your own homework and your own research to find what works best for you when it comes to these topics and techniques. Because um, a lot of times, sometimes you can try it and it just doesn't work for you. So again, that's why you got to get out there and find what works best for you. But for me, when it comes to taming my tongue, I'm, I'm pretty much almost got it down pat to where, you know, I can catch it. I can make that decision to where, hey, I can either be positive or I can be negative. But if not, if I can't be positive and I, I want to be negative, I'm going to be quiet. I refuse to, you know, let negative words come out of my mouth that brings badness upon me or others. That's another thing you have to be careful when you're telling somebody something, you know, things can come back on you. And so tame your tongue and when it comes to negative situations and things that are going around you and have to realize 
how much in control you are and the power that you have within your tongue in that situation. And so remember, you guys, when it comes to these negative things that occur in your life or these negative thoughts, as well as you have to remember, you have the power to tame your tongue and reprogram your mind and, and let words of beauty flow from your mouth instead of let negativity flow out of your mouth and then come into your life. So that's what the power of manifestation really is. It's just things that you speak into existence and allow for it to come back on you. So uh, never, you guys, again, let words of negativity overtake you and just be, you know, turn you into a pessimistic person. Have you noticed, or are those out there that's always speaking bad things and they wake up and, oh, this is gonna be a crappy day, I can tell. And then they end up having a crappy day. They spoke that over their lives. They brought that on themselves. But if somebody wakes up and say, hey, I made my mind up to be positive and, and, and not let whatever negative thing comes at me affect me, I'm still going to have a good day. And even if they don't have a good day, they have that mindset that, hey, it, it's going to be a good day. I'm going to get through it. And so that's what you guys have to do. That's what I have to do. That's what we all have to do, you guys. And so with that being said, if you guys like the topic that I'm talking about today with Taming Your Tongue, be sure to show me by liking, sharing, comment, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Definitely, you guys, hit that subscribe button. As well as, don't forget, check out my website, differenceworld.net, and hit up all my other social media handles, including my Instagram and my Twitter. Also, you guys, for anybody out there that's watching these videos, that's looking for motivation speakers, uh, want me to be a part of any grassroots conversation or any podcast interviews, you guys can definitely, you know, book me. I'm pro bono. Uh, just go to my website, differenceworld.net, and you book your girl over there. Um, what else we got in the Difference World agenda? I can't forget my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, is available on my website, again, differenceworld.net. Be sure to get you guys this copy, again, what if a controversial paradigm shift was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America? And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, be advised that it's intended for a mature audience. It has sensitive content. And so if you can't take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen. Just get you a little fire blanket. You'll be all right. You might get a little stinge, but you'll survive. That's the point of it all, you guys. So to have these conversations that need to be had, those that are often swept under the rug and people turn a blind eye from, that's the point of it all. It's come to that round table and have that conversation where we come together as one, unity, and, and taking accountability and acknowledgement about the wrongdoing in society, and then talking about ways that we can come up with to create systemic change. That's also the point of it as well, is, is talking about systemic change and so again go to my website and get your book of my uh, excuse me a copy of my book what if a controversial paradigm shift you guys i definitely appreciate all the love and support that i am getting all the reviews everybody that's supporting me please keep it coming and don't stop i truly truly appreciate it guys and we're going to move on uh what else we got going on in different world tomorrow is tuesday so i'm thinking i want to end out uh april with another social awareness blog and so be on the lookout for that you guys i don't know if i want to do uh, i think there's this month is also uh parkinson's disease awareness so i may do that or i may do another uh social awareness outlet so that's why again you guys hit that notification bell so when i drop the content you guys come into different world and you come and learn about what i'm talking about and so again hit that subscribe button and that notification bell before you guys leave right uh, what else you guys uh, before i get out of here Lastly, but most importantly, we have our mental health check time. And so for those out there that are going, like me, going through any type of mental stress, anguish, or illness, uh, be it depression, anxiety attacks, having suicidal thoughts, even dealing with bullying or, or relapse, please know that it is okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help. Go talk with somebody, go pick up a hobby, go, if you need to, get on medication, uh, uh, mending broken bridges, cut people off that mean you know well in life. Go do whatever it is that you have to do to get your mental health in check and that keeps you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. If you need or if you know anybody who may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is one 800 Two seven three eight two five five, or you guys can call or text nine eight eight, or you can text seven four one seven four one. And for those that would prefer, you guys can go online to mentalhealthishealth.us, or you guys can check out nine eight eight 
lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. and that watches your girl's YouTube channel, shout out to you guys. I appreciate the love and support. You guys can be sure to check out incounseling.com. That is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And remember, you guys, although I am giving you these mental health resources, please remember that it's on you to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. Lastly, please remember, you guys, whatever trial and tribulation that you are going through right now in your life, Please know that this too shall pass and you will get through it. So going off the deep end is not an option. It's not worth it. So don't do it. Okay. Uh, and moving on from my mental health check, you guys. Uh, again, I truly appreciate all the love and support that I'm getting. Be sure if you guys like the topic that I'm talking about with Taming Your Tongue, show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Again, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for your girl. I truly appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Like I said, keep it coming and don't stop. And with you guys, don't forget, whatever it is in life that you are believing you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Different 12. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619, Africans started dealing in slaves trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.